Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings. And I'm still Cyan. And we are about to embark on our Blue Lions journey. In the last episode, um, we had a bit of a silly time. <laughs> I'm so sure comment section will be very happy with our reaction to it. Heartstring Moon. Don't have to love everything, the but... Triumphant return. And now it's time to, to look at Dimitri's redemption arc, I guess. All right. Maybe we'll finally give him that hug. Following the death of Rodri, Dimitri begins to question his desire for revenge. His troubled mind turns to the kingdom capital and how he might end the chaos plaguing Fargus once and for all. Dude, that is a smug-ass son. <laughs> yeah, he's very smug. Oh, my God. So, okay, so what makes Dimitri turn around? Okay, so Dimitri lost a bunch of people who were important to him. And what made him stop being weird is losing another person that was important to him? Uh, I guess. Maybe he... I don't know. I Feels a bit unpoetic, if I'm going to be completely honest. I always thought, like, I mean, we'll see what happens, but... All right. I think it makes sense. I just, I'm not super great at articulating it at the moment. Our victory at Drondor was certainly a turning point for us. However, Rodrigue's death has been difficult to bear. We've lost considerable military strength and resources. Are there no lords we can rely on? Unfortunately, with things as they are now, I don't think House Gatia has any resources to spare. I'm sorry. I really wish we could help. If only House Galatea had anything to give. If we split up the soldiers currently defending the monastery, we should have sufficient numbers to invade the Empire. But even then... Your Highness, you should be resting. Your wounds are still healing. Alright, he got stabbed. I am well, right. I assure you. More importantly, may I have a moment of your time? Thank you. I wish to apologize to all of you. I have led you down this dark path with me, and have caused so much suffering along the way. I cannot tell you how sorry I am for my behavior. There is no apology I could offer that would be sufficient. Okay. <laughs> and how do you intend to make up for my father's death? Felix, God damn Felix. you. <laughs> Felix. Okay, I'm not going to say he doesn't care about his father, because he clearly does, but I don't know. I feel like Felix has been nothing but a dick to Rodrigue, and now he's going to be all like, oh, my dad. Felix, I realize words alone are not enough to repent, but I fear they are all I have. Kind of weird I'm that Felix didn't have a scene before words. this. I want you to speak through your actions. Yeah, we, didn't, we never got to see Felix react to his father's death. Uh, that was a bit weird. Yeah. I mean, given how distant he is, I guess it kind of makes sense, but still a missed opportunity. I think Felix would be kind of sad by his father dying, even though he's like, no weeping for the dead. I know yeah. that no amount of regret can ever bring back the lives we have lost. I... I know that well. It is like patching up a tear with a different material. Things can never be as they were. The best I can hope for is to make things whole again. I wish to do the right thing from now on. That is why I have made a decision. I intend to take back the kingdom capital. I wish to save our people. Those who I turned my back on for far too long. To follow my heart and do the right thing. That is the only way I can atone for my sins. Okay. I'm down for this. Your Highness. <clears throat> if we can win back Ferdiat. It will give us the advantage in our war against the Empire. As one who has served the royal family for ages, know that your words bring me great joy and pride. That said, I must point out that if we make for Ferdiad, the Emperor's head will slip further out of reach. Can you live with that? I still hold hatred in my heart for her, and for the ones responsible for the tragedy. That I will carry with me until death. But. My life is my own. It belongs to no one else, and it is high time that I started living for what I believe in. Okay, he just took a complete 180. He's good again now. I will no longer allow the voices of the dead to bind me. This is something that I must do. No. Something 
that I am choosing to do, I will accomplish my aim, even if it means risking my life to do so. Understood, Your Highness. So, any objections? Count me in? You are correct. We cannot afford <sighs> to die in vain by recklessly challenging the Empire. I'm worried about Lady Rhea. But if this is the choice you've made, All right. I support it. We kind of pushed that to the side for a while. Yeah. At your command, Your Highness. I will follow you anywhere. Yeah, she'll be fine. My sword is at your service. She's a dragon. Your yeah, I'll they're they're too. pretty good Omni tanks. Need us. Fine. I'll help you in my father's stead. But in return, you must win. You know that, don't you, Dimitri? I do. And I swear on my father's lance that we will prevail. Then it is decided. It seems this war council has much to discuss. Our next stop is Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. For the future of Fargus. Hmm. So what do you think about Demetrius' redemption? I think it makes sense, given that Rodrigue was very important to his father and served as sort of a surrogate figure, but oh. I do think it's a... I guess we oh, are curious. I guess we are indeed. You, you can continue out after we're done here. Yeah, I'm curious to see what's going what on. What are you now. doing? Sleep evades me, so I thought I'd get in some extra training. I was just about to finish. I love this song. Perhaps it's, it's nice. the gloomy weather, but I am feeling the sting of wounds. I think it's called Recollection and Reminiscence or something. Reminiscence and Regret? Something like what that. What wounds? The injury I got when that girl stabbed me after the battle at Gronder. How did she even do that? You're covered in full plate. Her eyes yeah, were filled with revenge. Weird. Just as mine once were. Who was she? I don't know, but I have a guess. Ah. I suppose I haven't told you about that yet. What? I was attacked inside the monastery the other day. It caused quite the uproar. The ones who attacked me were some of the youths we taught swordsmanship to once upon a time. Are you okay? Of course. I could capture the lot of them with my eyes closed. It I... seems they were raised by a group of thieves we put down five years ago. I heard Lady Rhea took custody of them, claiming that the children were innocent. I have taken so many lives, and with each one I face hatred. During the last five years especially, my life was not so different from that of a wild beast and that young girl's brother. At some point I must have... That is why I thought it only natural that someone would retaliate someday. Because I hated. Because I stole and... Because I killed. Hmm. But with those children, it's different. We drew our blades with the best of intentions. Only to hurt them in the end. I suppose this is yet another thing we will just have to live with. It's part of the job. Unfortunately. Yes. As one who chose to fight, it is my responsibility to confront this anguish and the true nature of war until the day my life comes to an end. We can confront it together? Thank you. You know, Professor, there is something that I only recently realized. I never knew it could be so comforting to have someone standing by my side. Yeah, how about that hug? No? Okay. Yeah, we'll hug off screen. Oh, I, I do like Dimitri's melancholy realization that even the generics that you murder in war are they still have families, they're still human. Mm -hmm. That's not something you get too often in Fire Emblem, and it's part of the reason I like Dorothea. It's just a melancholy realization that war is hell. Fire Emblem, I feel like every time Fire Emblem reminds us that the generics are soldiers, they're also sort of admitting that it's kind of fucked up what we do. You know, yeah. like going around killing people. It's it's like, I think Fire Emblem would maybe prefer not to dwell on the topic too much. Because, you know, you kill a lot of people in Fire Emblem. We uh, do. And it's like, hey, hey, kill a lot of people. Isn't it fun to kill people? Here's some skills to kill people. Oh, look at this gambit. You can blow people up. Oh, man. Promote to Vibrant Lord so you can kill many people. It's wrong to kill people. I mean, I think there is an acknowledgement that that is a part of war, so they can't mm -hmm. dwell on it too long, but... That's true. 
the fact that they acknowledge it at all is nice. Yeah, yeah no, I think it's I think it's a good thing that they acknowledge it. It's, I don't know, like it's sort of like um, you know, there are many video games that revolve around killing people. It's kind of almost weird to think about how normalized it has become in our society. Uh, not to like switch this onto a debate about video game violence. Like for the record, I don't think video game violence causes real violence at all. That's been debunked a hundred nice. times. But um. It's just funny to think about like how normalized it is and how it just almost feels weird when the game reminds you that you know you're actually killing people. That's a bit fucked up. We anyway. bet. All right, time for some supports, guys. We have a lot of built up, so. Here for the flowers again? <laughs> no, I'm here for give you. Give me my fucking carrots. <laughs> yeah, give me my. No particular. Like, give me, give me, give me the sweet carrots. You might as well have a look while you are here. Oh, I'm having a look. We know what she's looking at. <laughs> I have two things to say. Fuck First, you. I thank you for supporting His Highness in my absence, but I must also admonish you for taking your own well-being too lightly. On several occasions, I have seen you protect others by putting yourself in harm's way. No, that was Rodrigue. I am. Yeah, we didn't efforts. do shit. But I feel you should place a higher value on your own life. His Highness relies on you. As do I. Okay. Then show that with your actions. We cannot afford to lose an invaluable asset like you. And... And? This greenhouse would be a more lonely place without you in it. Oh, you little charm, you. It would not be fair to the flowers to leave me their only caretaker. I'll be your flower. Hmm. That's... Someday, I hope to show you a whole landscape of these I don't know why sexual innuendos are so fun with Dudu. You mean Dusker? Yes. Once this conflict is over, and His Highness ascends the throne, I believe it can be done. You must live at least until then. Understood? Yeah, after then you can die, it's fine. <laughs> I had not thought much of my own life until now, except that I would gladly cast it aside for His Highness. That is still true, but now I desire to see the end of this war. Until I can show you the fields of Dusker and Bloom, I will go on living. Aww. Mm. Precious to do. Oh, cool, we could finally get Dimitri supports. Oh! Oh, we've got a lot built up, huh? I have a question for you. Answer quickly before my hand slips and I cut you in half. You know, for once, I don't think this is over the top. Okay. Always so ominous. Well, what is it, Felix? Sometimes you have an animal's face, contorted with anger and bloodlust. At other times, a man's with a friendly smile. Which is your true face? Do not waste your breath on questions with such obvious answers. They are both the real me. My father, my friends, Glenn. They all meant a great deal to me, and they were all brutally slaughtered. I alone survived. Hmm. If I do not shoulder the anguish and regret they must have felt, who will? <laughs> so that's how you justify your atrocities. What do you mean? I will fulfill my duty to the late king. My old man used to say that over and over like a mantra. How nauseating. No one seems to understand. The dead won't acknowledge your loyalty. They don't care. What a load of bunk it is, pretending to serve a corpse. You're serving your own ego. Hmm. Ah, I guess that makes a lot of sense. You are Consistent wrong. with Felix. No, I'm not. The dead are dead. The living are living. You have to respect that boundary. If you keep stringing gravestones around your neck, you'll snap. Even still, I cannot forget them, nor can I let them go. Then keep those thoughts to yourself. If you're too weak to do that, abandon your throne. Become a gravekeeper. Felix. I'm not immune to emotion, you know. Far from it. Hmm. I haven't gone a day without questioning why my father and brother had to die while I survived. I'll bear this pain until the day I die, but I refuse to wallow in it. I have more important things to do than blubber for my whole life. <laughs> you know, Felix. You really are growing more and more like your brother. Always so sarcastic and constantly looking for a fight. But deep inside, more than anyone, you... What are you getting at? Oh, it's nothing. But allow me to thank you. 
Your perspective has opened my eyes. I. Not my intention. <laughs> if you took something positive from our interaction, th that's not my end goal. I couldn't stand the pathetic look on your face. That's all. I see. It's not like I'm your friend or anything. If you say so, then we will. Vodka. For vodka. <laughs> That's a cute support though, I like it. Yeah, I like that it came right after Rodrigue's death. Oh boy, it's time for Dimitri to fuck all the ladies. Oh boy, ooh, okay. Alright, well, first let's fuck Gilbert. Gustav, <laughs> it has been eight years since I last called you by that name. Your Highness, I must deeply apologize for leaving the kingdom without permission. I, I will was... give the game credit though. By delaying Dimitri's supports, they do allow for the narrative to actually fit them. Mm. That's that's well done. There is no need to explain, old friend. I can guess at your reasons. The tragedy of Dusk. Sometimes the game gets the pacing very wrong, such as when it puts a tea party right in between two tragic scenes. Yeah. But other times, they also put a lot of effort into making sure that things don't feel wrong. I agree. You felt responsible for that incident and sought respite in the goddess. I think it's just the mechanics of how support rank, points are gained. They don't tend to lock themselves I behind think... chapters in most cases. No. I have no excuses to offer. This... It was all I could think to do. I always knew you for a pious man. And I figured that if you were to leave, this is where you would end up. You have changed much. Your face does not have the same resolve it once did. If I may, your highness. You have changed as well. I can't disagree. It was my duty to protect his majesty, your father. Naturally, that also included Lady Patricia <laughs> and yourself. I just well. realized something. Hmm. <laughs> my father and mother are gone. No amount of regret will bring them back. What happened to Demetrius' eye? <laughs> uh... <laughs> maybe... <laughs> maybe they'll tell us. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, I can't imagine they're just not gonna tell us how Dimitri lost an eye. <laughs> My dreams are haunted by the thought that had I arrived at Dusker more swiftly. When I first saw Dimitri's eye patch, I always assumed that what made him snap was like whoever was like I didn't know anything about the story at the time, but I always thought like one of the antagonists of the game, like he would attack them and they, he would like tear out Dimitri's eye in like a really grotesque scene or something. And that's what would have caused Dimitri to snap. That's like that's what I always thought. That the, the eye patch was connected to whatever caused him to go insane. You saved my life. Yeah, I kinda time. had that sinking his suspicion too. Gratitude but for you. No, blame to but speak. no, he just kinda just showed up with one. I'm ass I'm assuming he like took a wound to the eye in the five years he was like mad, but still. I wish for you yeah, to remain uh, in the kingdom, Gustav. I'm not sure Even how much of gold of Mecha's playthrough you've seen, so I do try I want to try and keep mum. To help rebuild the ravaged land that Fargus has become. Please, I beg your forgiveness. But there is no place left for me in that land. Because when you meet Dimitri in Crimson Rose, he does not have an eye patch. He has both That's, his eyes. Yeah. The same is true for Golden Deer. Hmm. No much has changed. So this is stubbornness from eye patch Dimitri is Blue Lions Dimitri. Mm -hmm. I have no desire gotta... to trouble you. Shit, I, if you do I not don't wish know. to return. That is I'm trying to think to back make. on Golden Deer, but I cannot but I do imagine what would have happened. Visit the place of your birth, if only for your family's sake. Yes, Your Highness. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. I assume they gave it to him because they wanted him to look more broken. But uh, it would be nice if, like, I'm, maybe we'll learn it. That's also sorry. I, I am actually paying attention to the Gilbert Dimitri support. It's just I looked at his eye patch and it just suddenly struck me. I just don't know how he got it. <laughs> I just want to know. I imagine they'll tell us. Yeah, anyway, time for a threesome. Actually, it would more like be a foursome, honestly. Good evening, Dimitri. Have foursome? you come to pray? We got who's three, who's we the got, fourth? We got three girls. Something oh, like right, that. Right. It's three girls right. and Dimitri. Foursome. Oh, yes, right. that's why I'm here. Sorry, I thought we were just talking about Mercedes. I'm like, okay, well, I assume that you're including Manga here. So then. That'd be a fivesome. Be... Okay, well. I'd be. Someone draw this. It really is. Um, I promise you someone already has. <laughs> I know you've been gone for Twitter from Twitter for a while, but... <laughs> quiet night. but I've had a field day. Think of those who I've had several field days. I missed out on a lot of good art. We've lost so many in this war. 
too many to count. I hope they all get to live in eternal happiness at the goddess's side. Don't tell Felix. These prayers yeah. are all I have to offer. You are a kind soul, Mercedes. I think you're kind too, Dimitri. Sometimes to a fault. Well, at least then you're not mm. trying to kill everyone. Baby kind. steps. Me? No, not at all. I am just a killer. A disgusting monster. But why do you kill? For the sake of your loved ones? Those who have passed? Real monsters kill for selfish reasons. They're incapable of expressing sorrow when they kill. So please, don't call yourself a monster. Mercedes, I... I am scared. So scared that I will forget their faces. The people who have died. Who I have killed. I cannot let myself forget them. Get a photograph of them? Like a painting? That'd be a nice thing. I know that. And did yet... you recruit Ignatz? Nope. Yep. Well, yes, shit. I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, never mind. Whatever, my your, shit, your shit is not tough. It is all the act of a monster. Depends on what I eat. It's sad. Mm. But the truth Does that is protein that milk do it for you? <laughs> ah, yeah, that's not good for it, honestly. You may be afraid to forget your past, but you'll never be able to revisit it. Living in the present is the best we can do. We owe it to those who can't come back. If someone had said those words to me five years ago, I would be a different man today. Yeah. Thanks, Mercedes. You could have prevented this all. What do you want to do now? Of course, it's Mercedes' fault. Continue fighting. Goddamn game locking supports behind the time skip. Not as a king, but as my classmate. What do you want to do? <laughs> you. My own dreams. I have never given it any thought. What about Mercedes has like what, 12 defense? What do you want, Mercedes? <laughs> I want to keep sewing and I don't think she survived. Oh, that's right, they were sewing. Become king. All right. I want to be your friend. But I have no right to stand beside you. Please, I can't hear any more of this self-deprecation. I just want to be by your side. Is that so much to ask? Mercedes, I want the same thing. If you allow it, I wish to stay by your side. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that way. Let's spend a little more time here together. Just the two of us. Okay. Now, excuse me as I'll go get two more supports with other girls. Got it. <laughs> this system will never not annoy me. <laughs> your Highness, oh, I have yeah. one more favorite. This is actually an A minus support, so there's another one. Is this about Gustav again? I have plenty more stories about him, but perhaps it is time for you to speak with him yourself. Oh, it's not about father this time. This time I wanted to ask about you. About me? I mean, I heard all about father last time, but I didn't ask about you. Ah, well, I'm afraid there is not much of interest for me to tell you. Oh, it doesn't have to be funny or interesting. That's not why I'm asking. It's just that I thought I already knew you. But I'm not sure I really do. That day when we were reunited at the monastery, I didn't know what to say to you. So I wanted to prepare some of your favorite food. I thought maybe if you ate something that you liked, you'd cheer up a little. But when I got to the kitchen, I realized I didn't even know what you liked to eat. The corpses of the dog. Oh, sorry, from, from old habit. I see. Well, a bagel. it's a little hard to say what my favorite is. I just don't really have any strong feelings about food. <laughs> you know, that was so funny. <laughs> Big. <laughs> that said, you're pretty keen on sweet things, right? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you should be nice. Make sure Annette has something to eat. Yes, Two bagels. Right. <laughs> I'm at my happiest when I'm digging into a sweet treat. <laughs> oh, did you know there's a famous sweet shop in the capital? Yes. It often had long lines outside, didn't it? The castle guards often spoke of it. The sweets were so good. They cost a fortune, but I loved them. When father was still around, we all lived as a family in the capital. Since then, I've had them only a few times. Ah, uh, how I'd love to taste them again. Then Gilbert vanished to go buy milk and cigarettes. Oh my god. Say, Annette, <laughs> when this war is over, where will you go? I heard that you were close to Baron Dominic back in the academy days. No, he's a bitch. Before we killed him. <laughs> but that's not where I think Apparently I'd like we to go when all of this is over. Yeah, but like, he disappeared. Comment By says we didn't, Sion. <sighs> Fine comments, I'll let you have I'd this like one. I'd like to live with my family again, in the capital. Also, if I'm in the capital, I'll be able to see you from time to time. Right? 
Ah, that settles it then. We'll have to get your father working twice as hard. <laughs> Father's at a ripe old age now. I'd appreciate it if you didn't work him too hard. Do you think the support would change if Gilbert was dead? Actually, can he die mm. in this round, or does he just retreat? I think he might just retreat. I, he's probably going to retreat because he's the retainer of much. sorts. Yeah, he's too important. To do is to do is like your pseudo retainer, given that there's a chance you don't get him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, time to fuck Ingrid. <laughs> Finally, you score a point against me on the ground. You have improved, Ingrid. That was nothing more than a fluke. My technique was horribly sloppy that last round. It does not matter what sort of Oh my god, I, I, I'm not gonna make a joke. If this had been a real battle... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said we were gonna fuck Ingrid, and that was the first two lines we get. <laughs> No one's born a dick sucking. You <laughs> we'll get them sometime. You wielded your lance well. <laughs> Has your approach changed? <laughs> you may recall when I said I'm not able to move on because of you. I remember. What did you mean? <laughs> that I finally understand the truth about you. <laughs> It's bad form to bring up your ex. Has your approach changed? It sounds as though he died with a heavy heart. <laughs> oh boy, this a is a sad support. support. <laughs> I had suspected as much. <clears throat> but instead of acknowledging oh it, I twisted my memory of him to fit an ideal I've been upholding. I see. <laughs> your Highness, I will not sacrifice my life for anyone, but perhaps instead, I can live my life for someone. I will pledge my life to you. And how exactly am I meant to interpret that? However you please, your highness. <laughs> oh? Well then, Ingrid, when this is all over, I want you to... Um... To support and defend me. That's my knight. Defensive Argetant, you got it. I have been thinking of telling you this for a long time. We get along well, you and I. As your knight. Yes, yes, of course. Of course I will. <laughs> Night zoned. Do so for your, uh, for the sake poor girl. Of the kingdom. Together, your highness. You and I. Our first order of business. Putting this tragic war to an end. Ingrid, you are just such a good knight. Yes. You are just, you are my favorite well, knight. Do not die I don't know what I would do without you Promise as my knight. Yes, your highness. I swear it on my lands. How about you swear Excuse it on me. my lands? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, god, his lance even twitches. <laughs> it can cause atrocity. <laughs> 50 minutes of dick jokes. So it begins. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's really my humor. All right, boy. Oh, okay. Be support with Marianne. Okay. We're not done fucking. Marianne? No, we're not fucking yes. quite yet. May I sit here? There isn't another open spot. Yes, there is, you fucking liar. We, it's no one here. We definitely <laughs> stole the seats. You may. I mean, whatever you gotta say, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, look I at all of those orders. people. <laughs> I know you asked me to stay away from you. No, it's fine. About the other day, when you said you didn't regret risking your own life. I apologize for whatever foolish thing wasn't, I said to upset wasn't you. Wasn't the other day, like, five years but, ago? May I ask what happened? It's just... There is only misfortune for anyone who comes near me. Misfortune? I'm afraid so. Especially those with complete disregard for their own safety. Ah, so I didn't defend you. You're trying to tell me I should be more concerned for my own safety. Well, I suppose I could improve in that regard. As for you causing misfortune, I think that's far from the truth. In fact, I find you to be a lucky charm of sorts. I mean, she is his adjutant. Me? Lucky? Huh. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that at all. My entire life up until this point has been nothing but a string of unfortunate events. But misfortune finds us all. Perhaps those around you have suffered or even perished. But look at you. You're still here, alive and well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, boy. Foreshadowing, no. 
Oh. You feel guilt for not dying along with the others. Uh, how did you know? You and I are the same. Maybe you should fear being cursed with misfortune for coming near me. Oh no. <laughs> no, no. Don't say it. <laughs> a smile and a laugh. Coming from you, that's a rarity. This must be my lucky day. I just find the idea amusing. It's strange to think that someone like you could have anything in common with me. Is it so terrible a thought? No, no, it's not that. It actually makes me happy. As though there's finally someone who understands how I truly feel. Fine, I think we might need to go play that paralogue. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we committed. We committed to you being sad. No. <laughs> That's awful. We Oh no! Okay, I'll st I want to cheer myself up a bit with Flame now. Why are you out and about so late, Dimitri? Ah, uh, hello, Flame. I could ask. I you have something to ask. Me? I was feeling restless and came. Whenever there's a door in the background. I see. So I'm here for the down. same reason. <laughs> How funny! But are you feeling well? You look fairly pale. It's nothing. I just have a bit of a headache. Oh my. Headaches are quite troublesome, are they not? I am sure it will subside soon. Actually, I am quite talented when it comes to healing magic. If you will allow me, I will have you feeling better in no time. That's kind of you, but I'm fine. But why not? Have I offended you somehow? Wasted effort. <laughs> this headache oh. is something I've dealt with for a while now. Ever since my family and friends were murdered before my eyes. I wonder if his quit quotes and uh, things have changed. I must oh, never be interesting. that day. They have I to. I must never allow their deaths to be forgotten. Like, out of my way! Wasted effort. I'll comply. Like, if he still talks like that, it'd be weird. I feel this headache is a reminder of sorts. Of those I failed to protect. And of their murderers who still roam free. I see. That would explain your somber demeanor. Still, I do not agree with all you are saying. I feel that if I were your father or any of your dear friends whom you lost, I would want you to let go of me eventually. I would never want someone whom I care deeply for to be pained by the loss of me for eternity. And I doubt they would want that either. Perhaps. Unfortunately, they have left this world, so I can no longer ask their preference. We cannot ask them directly, but we can imagine how they might have felt. You know who they were as people. As for me, if I am ever to be but a memory in your future, I want you to remember me in a way that brings you joy. I would want you to smile when you recalled me, to feel warmed by the notion that I cherished your company. Aww. I cannot imagine I am the only one who feels this way. Surely anyone who loved another would wish only for their peace and happiness. I'm sure Flane has a lot of experience with losing those she cares about. Yeah. I must apologize. I was out of line, clearly. I must get some rest now. Please do not stay up too late yourself. Good night, Flane. Oh, sorry. Oh well, that's a cute support. Is Dimitri mm. done? Yeah, he's done fucking. Alright. Ooh, the do Felix. This one was interesting. They really hey, hated each wait. other in their C support. What is it? I mean, kinda makes sense. You defended me in battle. Why? His Highness does not wish for our military strength to be depleted. The loss of your strength would be significant. Yeah, we could, you could say that again. Yeah, yeah, you could say that again. Colossal idiot. One slip up and you would have died. You think you would have been happy about that? No, I do not. Then why protect me? I thought you were his mindless weapon, his sword and shield. I heard about your brother. He was a Dusker. He died to protect his Highness. He did, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you repaying some kind of debt? I hope you're not going to praise his death. I hear enough of that from my old man. Mmm. -hmm. Past tense. Heard? I will not praise it then. Instead, I will say I would have done the same in his position. Is it really so unnatural to put one's life on the line to protect a brother in arms? To hear a rabid dog call me a brother in arms. Your insults are merely an attempt to avoid addressing me as what I am. I am a man of Dusker. Yet you were concerned for my life. Concerned is a strong word. Your death would have been unpleasant, that's all. I'm not concerned, Baka. Coming from you, oh God. that is enough. 
What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Even has the little. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my god. Okay, go ahead, protect me. But if you act like a fool and get yourself killed, I'll kill you. Okay, that's uh. Really, Felix? Really? How can you kill me if I am already dead? I, you, you know what I meant. <laughs> god, the dude does not take any of Felix's shit. He's such a sinner. It's great. Such a fucking sinner. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you injured? To do. Saving the day again? Apologies. I'm the one who owes you an apology. You've saved my life how many times now? If I keep being so callous, I'll seem ungrateful. No matter. But... I'm accustomed to it. I'm sorry, Dadu. Why? Because the way I speak to you is unnecessarily harsh. The truth of it is... I lost someone very dear to me in Dusk. Oh, we were aware. The punishment came swift to your people, and when I heard of the slaughters, well... I thought it was a punishment well earned. I thought the people cruel and heartless, deserving of the tragedy that ultimately befell them. But you... You are different. You seem nothing like the people of whom I speak. So why not speak back against how I and so many others feel? Why not question this unfair prejudice and tell me I haven't the right to hold a grudge against you? If you just speak to me. If you tell me the truth about all of this. I do not know the truth of it myself. His Highness says the tragedy was not the fault of my people, but just like anywhere, there were many different people in Dusker. Some very good, and others very bad. It is not unimaginable that some may have conspired to take part in that wickedness. Perhaps we are merely victims, or perhaps we are regicidal monsters. Whatever the truth of it is, you are not to blame. The people I hate are the ones who were responsible for that whole mess. You. You just got caught up in all of it. Ingrid. Hmm. You've rushed to my side. You've saved me countless times. I am sorry for how I've treated you. Truly. All right, character development. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I feel like Ingrid gets a lot of shit, honestly. I think I think her attitude is understandable. She oh, yeah, entirely. She doesn't hate Dusker because she's racist. She hates Dusker because she lost her fi fiancé there. Like, If you think of me as your ally... I feel like the suffice. internet gives her an unnecessary amount of crap at times. For me, it's just... That is enough. Uh, I, I think the internet has a tendency to flanderize the characterizations of a lot of... Mm -hmm. A lot of characters whose supports they haven't read. Yep. Absolutely. Like, Soren got a lot of shit for that back in Metellius days. Like, oh, wow, he's so racist against Leith and Mordecai. Like, yeah, yeah. he's such a bad Hello. character. Like, Hello. No, he, everyone he was, was shitting him as a kid. He was treated far worse by the Lagoose than he was by the humans as a child because mm -hmm. they the lagoose actually hates branded even more than humans do finished praying but nope he's racist and therefore he is bad I and am, irredeemable yes. shitty character you're shitty if you like him you have grown much since i saw you last yeah you're, you're fucking man. huge <laughs> he makes you gilbert look me. small true i suppose we did only meet a handful of times as haggard as you look now you were even worse when i last saw you in the capital haggard eh True enough. Still weighed down by the same regret, I see. I was unable to protect the king. That is the ultimate failure. One I must atone for. Oh god, is it time for, is it Gilbert's self-pitying time? If you have the spare time to beg forgiveness, Yeah, to don't take his shit to do. That would do nothing to atone for the dead. Your prayers are mere self-indulgence. You do don't not take understand. his shit. No. I do not. Fargus needed you. His Highness needed you. There was no other choice but for me to leave. What would you have done if you were in my place? If His Highness had died due to your failures? If he commanded me to live, then I would live. Otherwise, I would die with him. I have nothing left to lose other than His Highness. Home. Family. All but that man. I have already lost. You were a knight in service to the king for decades. Not only did you excel in bravery, wisdom, and tactics, but in matters of character, you were an ideal knight, utterly above reproach. That is what his highness has always said. I have only come this far by modeling my conduct after his stories of you, but now. Forget those words spoken by his highness. I am no different a man than I was before, beaten down by sin. 
alone and weak. I am lost and irredeemable. Okay. Keep feeling sorry for yourself, Gilbert. You know, it's nice to see Dudu show a bit of emotion. Yeah, that was refreshing. Mm -hmm. I, and to everyone, like, I got a lot of comments on this, like, yeah, he's struggling with survivor skills, and that is like a real thing. I know, I know. I, I know it's a real thing people suffer from. I, I just think, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta move on, you know? You Your gotta... survivor's guilt is hurting the people alive who you, who still care about you. Yeah, it's one thing to feel sorry for your, like, if, like, you're a war veteran, you experience horrible things and that, like, haunts you. I get that. But, like, he has a responsibility to people around him right now. Oh. Hmm. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash, and then a big boom. If you blow up the library, where will we put the books? <laughs> <laughs> God, I love these two. A flash, and then a big boom. <laughs> <laughs> I heard singing. You were oh my watching Lord. me again, weren't you? You're standing in the middle of a goddamn public room singing, and it surely you will, must expect someone to come in. <laughs> yeah, it's a library. Well, Shut up. <laughs> this is library. No, today of all days. I I've seen that. I've chosen a different song. A different song? Like what? <sighs> Any of them. You the boat song. Or maybe the dungeon song. Way. Now those sound interesting. No, they're just regular songs. Uh, forget it. <sighs> While you're here, can you help me clean up? I need the books on that shelf up there, but I can't reach them. Yeah, I'm so small. Oh, sure, no problem. What? You're not going to sing anymore? Yeah, that's right. Felix likes singing. He was like <laughs> that with Dorothea too. She was like, "Yeah, I'm going to sing." She's like, "You sing? Okay. Uh, all right. I'll sit with you." No way. It's too embarrassing. And that song isn't even finished anyway. Ah, the support is so cute. It I is. I want to hear what happened after the library was blown away. <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. Okay, fine. If you insist, we'll sing just a bit more. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash and then a big boom. Suddenly the deed is done. My, what a great job I did. Who says cleaning isn't fun? Huh. That doesn't really explain what happened with the library. Maybe they'll build a new one? <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh. What a, what a pair. That's adorable. They're adorable. All right, Ash Ingrid, time to talk about books, I guess. There you are, Ingrid. Well, uh, hi, Ash. You seem excited. What's that you're holding? A book I found in town. I bought it for you. For me? It'll Ash, raise your skill by four. <laughs> Antique books like this are never cheap. Wow. The cover is stunning, and the binding is still in fantastic condition. I knew it. They're talking about books. I drove a hard bargain. Still, I'll probably have to cut back on my spending for a while. He stole it. Why did you yeah, I mean, so much we all know his personal skill. Well, it wasn't easy, but as soon as I came across this legend, I knew you had to read it too. Is it the legend of Luke? Well then, I will read it. Oh, the knight on the cover looks striking. Fascinating, right? I was captivated from the moment I laid eyes on the cover. Oh, it's gonna be like a book of her that he's written himself. Oh and it's like God. a fan fiction of Ingrid. There's an aura of stoicism intermingled with beauty, even amid a gruesome battle. Wait, looking closer at the face, this knight is a woman. That knight yes, is a woman. And she was a real historical oh, figure. Okay. All right, it wasn't fan fiction. She was born yeah. into a noble family and bore a crest. Or maybe it is. But she was accepted into the king's service as a knight. She fought in many battles at her king's side, serving him all her life as his right hand. Oh, sorry, I, I've said too much. I didn't mean <laughs> she to dies at the end of the book. You. I'm just so excited. I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you for the encouragement, Ash. Living as a knight is certainly not an easy task. I know it will mean much pain, 
strife, and heartache. But I still want to pursue that dream. Talking to you has reminded me. I'm not the type who gives up easily. That's the Ingrid I know. So to start, I'm going to read this book. Great! When you're finished and freshly inspired, we'll talk about becoming knights. Not the ones uh. in stories, either. The real thing. Is this their A support? It, yeah. God, that was boring. Yeah, like, I... Ash, I have... I'll probably say, like, he has the most boring supports in the game to me. Uh, I like, I like, I, he's a wholesome character. I like his design and all that, but god damn it, I'm ne- Like, I'm, I'm almost falling asleep through his supports. They are just not very interesting to me. Because they're always like, hi, I am Ash and I'm such a good at two shoes and I'm happy. Like, I think if you really like that, then that might be very rewarding. But for me, it's just like, I don't know. I, I mean, it's not interesting what writing. Are you, uh, are you, you know, off to train again? No, I'm headed to town to buy supplies, but I'll be training after that, naturally. Why? Oh, I I just thought you looked serious as ever. I guess that part of you hasn't changed. Of course it hasn't. I am as I ever was. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I guess you're right. <laughs> you're being Smooth weird. Smooth is better. Have you always been this weird and I just never noticed? No, I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. By the by, have you, you know fallen for anybody recently <laughs> don't be ridiculous what are you even bumbling on about this is cute well everyone's been talking about how you got really uh pretty just you know all of a sudden oh you must be referring to the makeup it's not a big deal or anything just experimenting i'm still learning did i mess something up yeah you cut your hair too short huh no i i think it looks good <sighs> You did surprisingly uh, well. I mean, you're never gonna get over that. Considering that it's you. Very funny. Okay. Wow, you are smooth say, as butter. Surprised. It's unlike you to stumble over yourself this much. What? No, I'm not. I'm just. You know, Baka. Curious about why. All of a sudden. Why what? Why I'm wearing makeup? I'm still guessing it's for a guy. If I had to try and guess what sort of guy, I suppose I'd say Felix. No, wait. I'm forgetting the royal line. Dimitri would be a way better. Oh my god, you're, you're wow. the type who ships people within your friend group. Is it one of the knights? If it's not them, wait. Could it be me? Don't I'd like me to imagine this is right after her support with Dorothea. Yeah. No need for violence. It was just a joke. Um, uh, I mean, it's not a joke that you're beautiful, but I wasn't trying to hit on you or anything. Promise. Beautiful, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> and he cantos away. Remember, guys, if things go <sighs> south, always canto away. Oh boy. Uh, we got more. <laughs> Hello, Marianne. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. That's Peak comedy. Why, that's why you're on away. <laughs> Won't you at least tell me why you're avoiding me? It hurts. It really does. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just not very good at talking to people in general. I told you I'm on your side, and I meant it. I'm guessing you don't much like talking about crests. Call it a hunch. Well, um... I'm the same way, you know. The value of my life has always been dictated by the damn thing. It's not fair to have your worth determined by something you can't control. Growing up in House Gautier taught me that the hard way. What do you believe determines a person's value? I like to think it's a person's smile. Huh? Their smile? A smile. It tells you who someone is. Are they fake or sincere? It also makes you feel stronger when you smile. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking to do smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Wonder. Try it out, Marianne. Be strong-willed, and put everything you've got into your smile. Smile. Be strong-willed. How's this? Yeesh, You'd be so much prettier if you smiled. Terrific first try. If a bit stiff, lift the corners of your lips just a bit. Oh, I know. Try saying cheese. Cheese? <laughs> hey, that was good. <laughs> it might feel a bit unnatural, but you'll get used to it soon enough. It's just like an <laughs> Iago face if I ever saw one. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure this will make me stronger? 
guaranteed. Oh my god. It's a great smile, you know? <laughs> Let's go to town and show it off. If you lift your eyes from the ground, you'll see that the world has all sorts of amazing I know this is meant to be heartwarming. The more you realize that, I think it's just a little goofy. Smile. Yeah. I'll think about it. Please, don't let me pressure you. If you don't want to go, I understand. It's not that I don't like going into town. I'm just eager to get back to my room. Oh god, me too. I want to go practice <laughs> my smile. If I keep practicing, maybe someday I'll be ready to go into town with you. Oh yeah? That sounds great. I can't wait to see your best smile. This sounded like a, this was like a Colgate commercial, honestly. Oh, nine out of ten doctors in Fogland recommend it. Oh, here we go. Time for some more self-deprecation. I didn't expect you to summon me. Are you I going to smite me again? Whim. I wish for you to take it, Annette. A wooden doll. You used to make these for me when I was a child. I still do it. When the mood strikes. <laughs> it's so cute. It's... Wait. No. What do you want from me? I want nothing. I was carving and... I thought of you. I remembered how happy you would be as a child when I handed one of these dolls to you. I was back then. But I'm not a child anymore. It's too late for this now, father. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Annette. I... I was so lonely after you left. I was always, always alone. I didn't know where you were or who to turn to for comfort. All I could do was look at the dolls you carved for me and remember you and weep. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. It is all the same in the end. I am sorry, Annette. I should have given more thought to my actions. Father, wait! No, this won't do at all. It would be better to throw this doll away. You are too cruel, father. Of course I... I could never throw it away. Man, this support does not make me like Gilbert. It really doesn't. I don't think it's supposed to make us like Gilbert. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not complaining about the quality of the writing. It's great. It's just... Gilbert's an idiot. I have something to ask of you. Mm-hmm. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, you worry too much, brother. I think a kidnapping is good cause for concern. So yeah, you were kidnapped really like five and a half years ago. It was terrifying. <laughs> Had that not happened, uh, I would have never been allowed to join the professor's class. Even from something so dire, some good did come of it. That is a dangerous attitude. This world is full of peril. You must be more vigilant. Please understand. I allowed you to enroll here only because I thought it best for your safety. I am very much aware of that. You wanted to speak to me of something? Yes, my dear little sister. You are kind beyond all measure, and you are the very picture of I guess they call each other that in private to enforce it. But precisely because of these very fine qualities, I worry about your interactions with the others here. The youths of our army are particularly eccentric. As your brother, it is my duty to help you with any concerns you may have. I do appreciate the offer, but all the students and professors have treated me exceptionally well. Even so, there must be at least some worry. Please, you need not conceal anything from me. You worry far too much. There is truly nothing to share, and nothing for you to fret over. Are you absolutely sure? The idea of you suffering in silence is unbearable to me. Enough! I made it clear that nothing is wrong. I stand by my word. Well, there is one concern that comes to mind. What is it? Tell me. I will help is however I can. Please tell me There is fish. a certain somebody who seems determined to get in the way of my friendships oh, with my classmates. Okay. What? That's horrible. Fear not. I will handle this scoundrel for you. Just tell me his name. It is you, brother. Now then, I must be on my way. This... <laughs> Just now. Let's see, I was speaking to her. I asked her to share her concerns, and... Was there something else? <laughs> no matter. Fear not, Flame. Your brother will protect you from all harm. He even says it to himself. When he's alone. Uh, well, I guess we couldn't have necessarily done their paralog yet. Whatever. Yeah. 
Some, We're some, done. Some, sometimes it really becomes glaringly obvious when a, when a support is supposed to have taken place before the time skip. But yeah. hey, I guess it's better than not getting it at all. Yeah, it'd be weird to lock it out. All right, 54 minutes of support. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we will continue onwards with chapter something. Yeah, yes, chapter something. My favorite chapter. Uh, I don't know. Does it say? It does not. Chapter mission. Reclaiming the capital. Okay, cool. Reclaiming the capital. Sounds like we'll be reclaiming the capital. All right. What should they do, sign? Like, comment, subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. Wait, I said that. Yep. Leave a nice comment. Or a mean one. I don't really care. Or both. Ooh. Engagement. <laughs> Bye. Toodaloo.